If you're a terrible actor, you're expected to have faith that a system like this, the governing body, will find you. That's why it's the Federal Reserve in this scenario. Because of this, pre-funding of accounts is unnecessary. Now, consider this. There is no need for any sort of pre-funding, as payments are processed instantly. Adding XRP creates further resistance, because each XRP transaction incurs a little fee. The liquidity needs to come from someplace, and I highly doubt the Federal Reserve will be storing it, so it seems like an exchange would be necessary if we're talking about a centralized authority. The exchange takes a cut, you know, they get a little bit of the feet, slowing down the entire process, and making it more expensive, if you're talking about one or two different exchanges, perhaps both in the United States, or if it's two banks using the same exchange, but transferring from one account to another. There is no way the Fed will ever accept XRP. Please let this matter end. This is not going to happen, as I recall discussing it and producing movies on the topic around the end of August last year. In addition, I was irritated at the time. It's not true, it's not occurring, and it would make the system worse, yet, there are many influential people in our society, including some really well-known ones, who are pushing this foolishness. As a bridge currency for international trade, XRP is great, as a home currency, however, you should run away as fast as possible. Sorry about that. Just know that it won't happen because it ain't nothing. Therefore, if and there is currently no evidence that this will occur. However, any implementation of XRP that would affect this infrastructure is still in the works and hasn't yet been declared as of this writing. The system would then need to be altered. And what that would entail is probably just connecting one system to another, but would it be used within the current Fed system? Do you mean connecting to a different network? Yeah. Then, if that ever happens, some will say, see, now it's being used within Fed out, but, no, no, don't be a little baby, back we are cha, what's happening is XRP would be bridging. This is not impossible. That is fine with me. The specifics of what it would entail are unclear to me at this time because they would need to be negotiated. But if you believe the XRP will be employed in this system, which I already showed is illogical, you are mistaken. If this were to occur, Fed would essentially be nothing more than RippleNet with some extra, superfluous technology layered on top. Observe that. That's exactly what it would be, it's so ridiculous. I'm not sure what I'm talking about, but apparently RippleNet is being used in tandem with on-demand liquidity that uses XRP as a bridge. It really doesn't make any logic at all. It's also important to note that Ripple has applied to work for the United States government on the FedNow system. I can't say for sure what it would have entailed, but it certainly wouldn't have involved the use of XRP in any practical sense. It doesn't mean the approval of and Ripple was denied. That's been common knowledge for some time, and we're aware of it. We are well aware that Ripples is in no way connected to this. The two Ripples have finally paired up. I'm aware of its usefulness in various contexts, but, once again, it has nothing to do with XRP. You can see that we're all over the place right now, from the tweet that the crypto geek sent, so this is clearly getting Thorson Hay, there. And now it's been viewed 240,000 times, but only shared 240,000 times. And that's only one piece of evidence. Obviously, this doesn't account for everyone else who viewed the tweet. Everything encrypted. This is most likely yet another instance in which millions of people have witnessed the same thing. It's a complete and utter pile of rubbish, and I'm doing my best to sort it out. I checked out his video on YouTube and noticed that he has around 16,000 subscribers. And he's discussing the ways in which XRP believes it could be implemented at the federal level. It makes no logic at all. I'm just going to say what I think about it. However, here's the catch. Some extremely prominent members of our community, it is claimed, have made controversial remarks. I'm going to stop right now and back up. Here's a tweet from one of my fellow XRP YouTubers, Crypto Eddie, who posted content from Crypto Geek suggesting that currency pairs involving XRP and Excellent might be used as effects. 
It was literally just last night that he tweeted out the news that the Federal Reserve may incorporate XRP and XLM into their blockchain-based payment system. That's just not the case, period. He located an article that implied as much, though it didn't use the symbol XRP. But they said Ripple, and while it's true that they also said XLM, that information is unsourced. It's merely an assumption based on recent crypto-related news. And as noted by lawyer Bill Morgan, they remark that XRP and XLM would actually be employed theoretically, as its competitors, in the same piece. The excerpt is now visible on your screen. For whatever reason, I don't have to read it. However, feel free to take a break and read it if you so choose. That quote is from the same article, demonstrating the article's internal inconsistency. This makes zero sense. And then there's the crypto geek who tweeted about it and uploaded a video to YouTube, letting regular folks think this is entirely possible. If this is the case, then anyone who thinks XRP may be adopted for use in the financial system is demonstrating their ignorance of how on-demand liquidity operates. What they're doing is exactly that. Edie's tweeting about how crypto was so crypto was just so. Warning, warning. The same crypto geek that launched the $10 million XRP rumor. A crypto news outlet, which Buyback and Gensler's resignation are referencing, has supposedly written a story with no proof specialists to back up its content title, hashtag stay alert. So, according to her, he's a con artist who wants you to give over your XRP. I can't check this personally, but I'm telling you what I trust crypto to tell you because of Eddie. However, this seems really suspicious. For the record, I checked out the site to which he refers in his bio, you should do the same. However, I visited the related webpage. And he says it's a sponsor trying to get you to set up a parent, hand over your XRP, and then offer you a certain amount of money per year in exchange. Yes, that's the last word. That's something I'd never do. When I come across something similar. Since it's probably a hoax, I'm just going to avoid it at all costs. Connect is the default bit I always use. Does anyone here know what a bit connect is? Let's just say there's absolutely zero possibility of that happening. This is the guy, and he's a big reason why I have to keep clearing up after everyone else here. Do you recall the recent news about the $10 billion XRP buyback? Since I've been passed around millions of times, I felt compelled to film a video explaining what happened. Then, someone spread an untrue tale about Gary and some guns or some criminal deed or unlawful activity. Then he quit the SEC over some made-up stuff, I guess. That's because these pieces don't cite any sources. It is simply stated. And here it is for you now. Another well-respected member of the XRP community, Panos, recently made headlines when he claimed that crypto geeks were encouraging others to stake XRP in exchange for their private keys. Articles like that are completely made up to bring in more customers, here is just one example. This particular example is dated June 21. Here's something interesting from the cryptocurrency world, bet some XRP and get paid in Lincoln bio sponsors. To me, Crypto Eddie, and Pat, and even the panels, this whole thing smells like a scam. They concur that he is engaging in fraudulent activity. The truth is that he is perpetrating a fraud. In addition, he is making generalized false statements about XRP. Even if there were no scam, I would still roll my eyes, but I'd try to be more kind. To my knowledge, there were no red flags that suggested he was purposefully trying to defraud individuals. Okay, so that's where we stand right now. I need to take a seat now. The term financial advisor is not one that I use. Nothing I say should influence your buying or selling decisions. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye. Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. Guys, look at that incredibly exciting title. From the world of cryptography. That's just one illustration among many. The Fed is thinking about incorporating XRP and XLM into their Fed, now blockchain payment system. There you go. Cryptomedia, which is always 100% truthful, 
has reported it. Cryptocurrency media have stated that the Federal Reserve is planning to employ XRP or is at least seriously contemplating doing so. The only catch is that it just isn't true. Even if the Federal Reserve were to include XRP into the FedNow system, I will demonstrate why doing so would make the system worse in terms of cost, friction, and speed. There is no evidence to support this claim. So, there are alternatives to consider. Now, this is being taken up by crypto media owing in large part to a person who trustworthy members of our community have warned is actually a scammer. Because it presumes this to be the case, I feel compelled to issue a warning. And I'll demonstrate the logic behind their claims. It seems like they're luring you in with the promise of interest on your XRP in exchange for your handing it over. There's another one of these, so I'll just pull out the important parts and relay the message, just be careful out there and make your own sober choices. I want to make it perfectly clear that I am not a financial expert and am not giving any sort of financial advice before I go any further. Furthermore, you should not make any financial decisions based on what I say. I'm merely a hobbyist who likes to share his knowledge on crypto-related issues through YouTube videos. But only as a pastime and for entertainment purposes. The article then goes on to say the following. The Federal Reserve's open discussion of using XRP and XLM is a major step that underscores the changing environment of digital assets and traditional finance. The Federal Reserve's current payment mechanism is built on blockchain technology. In Recognizing the potential of digital assets to improve payment systems and streamline financial transactions, this announcement marks a positive step forward. The Federal Reserve, the United States Central Bank, has expressed an interest in investigating the possibility of incorporating XRP and XLM into the blockchain infrastructure of its cutting-edge Fed now payment system. For the Fed presently system, which has been in the works for some time, I'll pause for a moment to provide a quick reminder. Simply said, it is a domestic payment system that facilitates instantaneous settlement in real time. After hearing this, many would consider XRP's positioning as a bridge currency for instantaneous transactions. And they're all like, oh wow, well, I just use XRP. The thing is, though, that makes zero sense. In a moment, I'll explain why that would actually worsen the system. So while XRP works wonderfully as a temporary currency for international payments, it is not suitable for use in the Federal Reserve's current domestic payment system. So, once again, it's near enough for some to get their hopes up. So, they're actually referencing a piece of information that someone else was kind enough to share. There's a man on Twitter who shared an unsourced post from another site called Crypto News Flash. So, consider how this operates. Flash brings you the latest crypto news. Also, a member of the XRP community has shared an additional article, I'll be able to retrieve it in a moment and there is no verification. Nothing of the such has been confirmed. Then, this crypto media organization opted to run with the story without checking it since somebody on Twitter covered it without validating it first. That's why I'm back here, polishing the object once more. It's a thankless profession, and I'll tell you what, it'll never stop, thanks to crypto media. I like to joke that they're all computer science majors, but I'm probably being too kind. Is AF on this report? Too harsh? That's terrible. And here we have the crypto basics for that purpose. The title reads, Top Analyst Notes Possible Role of XRP in New York Fed's Digital Currency Test. It's the middle of May, so, uh, yes. The concept was first presented in this article. Which cryptocurrency, Ripple's XRP or Stellar's XLM, will power the Federal Reserve's fast payment service? Therefore, the negative answer is correct. Let's get right down to business. To put it simply, no. And I'm going to tell you why I can achieve it in this article in relatively few words. I brought up frbservices.org on your computer. To access the official Federal Reserve System website, click here. This is now a key component of their discussion. Check this out, they're talking about immediately with no need for pre-funding thanks to settlement through the FedNow service. Here it is. 
probably only this section, I'll highlight it and read it. Okay, we're starting now. This is the perfect spot, definitely. The FedNow service enables real-time clearing and settlement of funds between participating financial institutions and the Federal Reserve Bank around the clock, every day of the year. However, it is clear that this is a domestic financial system. You can't use this to make international payments or change one fiat currency into another. XRP will cause friction if it is plugged into the system. Again, they've outlined the project in full right here, advance money isn't necessary. The lack of a pre-funding stipulation baffles me. All the information isn't out yet, though. If you and another person have funds in your respective banks denominated in different currencies, you may find yourself in a Nostro Vostro account position. Therefore, in order to do it here, you need to establish some sort of rapport. Not with American dollars, of course. As far as I can tell, the Federal Reserve is only serving as a clearinghouse via this master account at the Federal Reserve Bank. I haven't seen anything else that would lead me to believe otherwise, but if you do, please let me know, because there is a slim possibility that I'm wrong. But as far as I can tell, the Federal Reserve is only acting as a clearinghouse, that is, a trusted central authority that facilitates these transactions, in case, for example, there are too many transactions involving two separate banks.